We have often heard that it's not enough to be busy. We need to be more productive. But what does productivity really mean? Isn't it subjective? Let's say we have a rough idea of what it looks like. Do we have to squeeze it out of every waking minute? When I see people around me doing so much more, it feels like I'm not doing enough. And maybe others are just better at their lives than me and know what they want. It feels like I'm stagnant whereas everyone else is moving forward. And I feel quite overwhelmed with this thought. This is something I have been battling lately. In an attempt to move my life forward too, in one way, I started working out a while back. At first, like most people I know, I was trying to build a routine of workout. It was exciting at first because some days I would curse at the alarm, but some days I would be happy that I worked out. Instead of appreciating the daily ups and downs of being a human and just accepting that, I had to go ahead and ruin that. While I was winning the battle of waking up early and going to the gym, I had to make it worse by trying to remove my Spotify playlist and instead listen to an educational or productive podcast while working out. Because multitasking means I'm better at time management, right? But not only that, now I was in the cycle of listening to it at 2x speed because I will save time, apparently. Now, listening to music when going for a run is unproductive. In the early days when I started getting into books, that curiosity, that joy of picking a new book slowly turned into how many books I can carry at once in my Kindle. Instead of reading a book and finding people to talk about it, I started a reading list and pile up the number of books I can read in a year. I have read over 100 books in the last two years. But how many of them do I really remember? In the last couple of years, I have been trying to find answers to my question of what is a happy life or what truly matters. That's where my journey of building morning routines, reading books, starting my creative journey and optimizing my day with to-do lists really began. And just like that, in the aim of optimizing my life, everything started becoming a chore. Because in this overly connected world, it feels like everything is a numbers game or everything needs to be perfect. Because there is someone out there who is better than me. So I pushed even harder. In that game, I lost that sense of excitement, that curiosity that I had when I first started. But as I'm getting older, I'm slowly realizing that if the goal is happiness, I don't have to look too far out. Peace has been right under my nose this whole time, in the day-to-day -day small things. Happiness isn't the daily mundane things. True happiness is being content with what I have. Of course, we shouldn't give up on our goals. Instead, it is important to understand that while we aim for our goals, it is important to be happy right now and not postpone it to an uncertain future because who knows if there is even one. I think I'm slowly understanding the art of slowing down. Instead of always counting my Fitbit step count, I'm trying to appreciate the walk. Instead of reaching the beach during my run and turning back right away, I'm reminding myself to stop and take in the view, listen to the sound of the waves. I'm trying to slow down and make memories and remember that I'm going to miss this if or when I won't have this. I'm reminding myself that I don't necessarily need to listen to a book while running. Sometimes running while listening to the birds is the way to do it. Not every activity needs optimizing. It's okay to read only 5 books a year. Not every book must be read at 1.5 speed. Not every productivity podcast needs to be listened. Some days can be spent with the windows down and blasting music while you feel the air on your face. 
It's okay to just sit and do nothing. It's okay to take the break you need and calibrate your mind. Take the break from people, from work, from your goal. Try to remind yourself what really matters. Of course, it's a daily battle. Some days with the continuous overwhelming sensation, I want to bash my head. And some days I am reminded that as long as I slow down and look at the abundance of happiness around me, I'll be okay. More than okay.